Hi guys, Danny here. And today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark. Okay. The moon is looking aesthetic as heck. We got a, a clips. <clears throat> it's rad. I feel like there's gonna be maybe a little fighty fight here. Or maybe I need to get down, down there somehow. Somehow, just jump down with your feet. Unless it's like really far. Oh, it is really far. Oh my god, do not jump down there with your feet. Okay, I thought I need to find some rope or something. Oh, there we go. Wait, hold on. Before we do this, if I can run around, let me see if I can run around um, and find a collectible. Because I'm trying to get the collectibles. I, I'm sure I've missed some already, but I'm trying. Got some bullets. Oh, for my machine gun, right? I forgot I got that. Nice. The temple of Nephron lies nice. under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus the Black Sun was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun, a message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumed to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Hmm. I guess the other rope was broken. <laughs> we didn't find it out the hard way because I wanted to look around. Okay. I guess we got it. Everything's still looking good. Hopefully it is. Anything over here? Oh. Why, why, why did my thing just like auto look at the hole? That was weird. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh no, bats! Bats! Oh no! <laughs> okay. Anyways. Okay, you can do this, Emily. I guess they were uh, not a problem. I didn't fight them. I don't know if I was meant to. Oh, did the rope just fall behind me? Yeah. Wow, she's not even bothered that somebody it's cut the rope. Constellation Taurus. The big star is Eldebrin. Something to do with the dark man. Well, we've seen this multiple times. We've had to put it in. Ooh, I'm gonna look around a little bit. Short stream today? No, I'm gonna try to finish it today. Nice. Ah. <sighs> Uh, dare I see a random leather, uh, lever and pull it? The answer is, <laughs> yep. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on a sec, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Oh no, oh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. 
Oh, it's a little rough on the aiming. Is there another one? Okay. I mean, I... Okay, hold on. Let me check all the corners here first for stuff. This is a door we can go into. Certainly looks like it. Can I mess with this though? I've seen this in a dream, but as a shallow pit of darkness. This is definitely where the contract is hidden. How do I get there? Did she just stop talking? Okay. Well, obviously I'm what I must do is go into every door that opens. The flying bats are going to be the death of me, though. I'll say that. Not so great with the old controller aiming here. I'll do my best. Oh, no. Okay, run back if we need to uh, attack. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Lens hmm, carrier. There's something missing. There sure is. The horizon. A lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling hieroglyph. Okay. Okay, let me bounce this back, and then I'm sure I'll get attacked. I think this one moves. <laughs> you don't say. Truly? It moves? That's crazy. Really? I didn't get attacked? I'm like wildly looking around. I'm gonna get attacked by flying things and it's gonna be not great for me. Oh boy, there's a lot of places to go here, huh? We got upstairs, we got going straight, we got left. Let's go left first, I guess. Oh. Okay, there's a brick. I need to use it. Okay, sick. Throwing things at them instantly kills them and that locks on, so that's good. We don't want this to be here. Um, they're mad at me? It worked. Get out of my face! <sighs> Good lord. Okay. Okay, when I hear the noise, I just need to dodge. Okay. Um, we have the crucifix. Pickaxe seems kind of fun though. Honestly, maybe meleeing them would be better anyways, since they're like in my face. Can I shoot them, you think? From here? The answer was no. I'm not gonna try again. Okay. Yeah. 
you think I'm just going around? Do you think I've taken a very long way around? I think I did. That's good. Um, what? Where would I need this one? Hold on, before I, I move that one, let's uh, go into this door because I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to <coughs> move it off. Fuck. Oh, that was rough. I don't know if that was better. There was a throwable thing here that would have been better. Okay, we have that door. Let me just, oh yeah, and then we never went up. Okay, let's go in the door first. Uh, no. The door is definitely the way we need to go, so let's actually go up first. I don't think- I'm not found a single thing in one of those. Terrible thing. I guess I get attacked by bats. Yeah, I don't- they might just all need to be on... Oh, I see. Okay, I'll be back. I will be back. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, I took the long way. That's fine. Okay, there's probably a lens down here. And then we probably have to move them all, I would say. start something if I do this without looking around. Hold on a sec. This is clearly what I must do. There's another thing to grab. Okay. I'll come back. Just a sec. Just a sec. So there really wasn't actually anything really to do here. That's fine. Okay, so first things first. There's nothing, is it? Okay, nice. So this one already has- oh! That's not where- I thought we were gonna point out of this hole for some reason. Okay, well that worked out. Okay, so now this is for the top. Honestly, it might be faster if we just go back up. I mean, we had the shortcut to the main room, but... Um... Okay, so I, I wonder if we need to get all the lasers in the middle, maybe? Or, or do you think they need to go on the... Holy fuck, holy fuck. What just happened? What just happened? Why did that happen? I don't think the crown is it. It worked. Oh wait, that's what I'm meant to do? Oh, and I can't even fuck it up. Okay, so what if we go down and, and change that other one to the middle? Okay, that is what we're doing. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So there are reasons we couldn't do that. What, what did I just get stuck on? Okay, so now we'll go down to that room. 
and uh, there'll be another lens in there and then we'll put the other one in the middle and then the secrets of the whole place will be ours for the taking, I guess. Oh my god, where am I going? <sighs> okay. Get me down here so I can... I'm just like a regular Tomb Raider here, whoa. I really took the longest way. I'll say that. There was almost certainly a better way here. <laughs> I did not take it though. I think it was probably the way I opened up. I was like, what do I need that for? But that's fine. Okay, there's the, um, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh no, oh gee, okay. Where are you going? Where are you going, bud? Or we can go down. Down, I immediately see something, but up was guarded. Uh, I will. I will be taking this on account of um, mine was a little messed up. Actually, I should grab my messed up one. Oh wow! Apparently, once I get that, that's that of that. Okay. Okay, this is a Weedle shortcut. Good. Okay, so I need to go down, because I need the lens. I like the environments here. Shoot. Did I miss? There we go. Okay. okay there's that. Uh, where do we point it at, though? Is this where we'll, like, put it in a hole? I'll just touch it. Okay, there's a brick there if I need to throw it. I guess in the eye? Okay. Then we can keep going. Why did it just save? Nothing bad's gonna happen to me, <laughs> right? Nothing bad would happen to me. What? Somebody got pushed off here, and I hope that it's not gonna be me. Okay. All right, underworld. Sick. Now we just need to go back up the way we came. Can't grab that, so I guess mine's in fine condition. Get everything in there. Up, oh. oh, so I don't have to go all the way around the longest way. to move these all on it now. Oh, okay. Just kidding. There's one place this goes, and that is that place. Uh, doesn't that mean I need to be on the... Yeah, I need to be there. <laughs> I need to be across there. Shoot. Okay. I'm coming. This is not the way. This was the way I, I already did. I finally have the lens for you. I'm gonna guess I just stick you on the middle. And then the third crown will happen and I definitely hmm. won't get attacked. The cr third crown is our here, where do I put this? It's not below like I thought. 
Maurice on the crown. It lit up. Oh. It's not gonna come to life and like attack me in a real like Tomb Raider way, right? <laughs> I do see that there's... Oh no, we were there. We were in that door behind. Okay, how do I get below fast? How do I get below fast? Was this a way to get below fast? I don't know. Yes, it was. Did I do the thing I was meant to? I don't think I did. Was the door behind him closed? Do I need to now move them all onto the crown? This may be the case. Hold on a sec. Uh. What's the one that goes all the way up? This way, I think. Okay. Okay. I didn't do it. I thought I did it. I certainly didn't. What about this one, though? This one's just, like, kind of... Oh, well, this one's definitely done, because look at that. That I, There's nothing more I can, that can be done for that one. Okay, let's try the top one. Maybe now it moves. Maybe you couldn't do it, like, preemptively or something. Okay, if this hits the crown, then I guess we're... Okay, that's definitely right. Okay, I'm gonna guess this one can move over there now. I was just a little confused because I tried to do it earlier and it wouldn't work because I guess it didn't want me to close off the door. Yeah, I can go all the way over here now. That's good. Okay. If I can bounce it back. Something up here. What's, uh, <clears throat> what's going on? So, uh, wait, wait, um, mm. what, uh, what's, ha uh, mm, what's happening? Why is it, oh, oh, I bet I, okay, and then I go behind it. I go behind it and then I move it down to the bottom and then it opens. Uh, okay, okay, I, I, I got it. Hey, duh, don't worry, I, I got it. Don't you worry about a thing. I feel like I'm supposed to be going up instead of down. How did I get over there again? I feel like it wasn't down. I feel like down is not correct. Hmm. How do I get up there again? I was definitely over there. Stop saving. Yeah, I need to point that here. It must have been on this side then. Okay. This place is literally not even that big and I'm like, I am fully lost in the sauce. Okay, is there a way to get over there from here? Yes, this is the way. this is a time don't say this is a time limit i have no clue where i'm going i had to get down don't don't tell me it's a time okay one way one simple way all right cool cool, cool. <laughs> okay one way to go we, we got a tomb crumbling situation everything's crumbling around me i'm taking my absolute time with all of this not because I want to, but because I... Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. Sure 
Oh my god. I wasn't expecting it really. The way I missed. God. The way I can't, I, all of my bullets went into that man. I missed every shot I did take. Is this gonna be in front of me? This is ready to collapse. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, uh, totally. Totally, totally, totally. Totally, 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 totally on the same page, man. What's happening? Nothing good. All the doors shut, but I, I, it was kind of lackluster because I took so fucking long. Whatever, I got it. <laughs> like a dagger or a drill or something? The, the dead Ignored bodies. Psychological trauma break through the barriers of self deceit, temper, manic behavior. Is this it? Is this the contract? Huh? Oh no, not these little guys. Get yeah. yeah, me trying to fight these guys. <laughs> Use your gun, Emily! Oh. <laughs> oh, a real Ashley Graham here, huh? <laughs> Damn. Chapter four. Okay. Oh, Jeremy. How much pain and suffering you could have prevented. Emily? What are you doing? Detective. Uh, how is your investigation How did I going? get here? Drop me off in the attic. Well, I still have no clue where Jeremy is, but I think I know why he's hiding. This place is full of lunatics planning to perform some kind of ritual tonight. Well, that sounds ridiculous. Or rather would have just a day ago. It gets worse. I have reason to believe they killed anyone who didn't want to go along with the plan. Detective, have you encountered any monsters tonight? I just told you, I think they killed people. Beauregard, the author, Perosi, the singer, Mr. Waits, the clerk, Mr. Chance, the gardener, they're all missing. No, I mean, have you fired your gun tonight? Of course not. They wouldn't just kill outsiders like that. It would bring too much attention. But you should keep your eyes open. So you haven't seen anything strange been anywhere else? What are you trying to tell me, Emily? Are you in some kind of danger? Nah. I'm good. Let me drive you back to New Orleans. I think I have enough. You know, at least get the police to take a look at this case. No, I'm fine. Thank you, detective. I'm covered in blood and dirt. I'll find your uncle, Miss Harwood. Just stay out of trouble. Absolutely covered. Where? What? Oh, the attic. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Acknowledge. Oh, right. This is what she wrote. But then there's like symbols. We still have the like safe in the um in the place where we have we got the like the character profiles as well. Um, I hope we get a hieroglyphics things to be able to like do that. Um, medicine has failed me. Oh wait, no, I can play it. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done. <gasps> Maybe he'll say something the about the hieroglyphics. Price. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. 
Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Oop. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Um... Okay. A dagger swathed in the grip of two sleek snakes found buried in the sunken temple along with the dark man's contract. <sighs> cool. Okay. Um, read this to me. Talk about the hieroglyphics. He must first acknowledge psychological trauma in order to proceed. The lying must stop so we can break through the barriers of self-deceit. Finally, temper manic behavior. Say anything about the hieroglyphics. <laughs> not, not, not a single thing. Uh, okay. Well, okay. I better get to work on breaking the pack with the dark man. It's the only way to save Jeremy. Good thing I still have the talisman. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. Nothing? Nothing for me? And I couldn't go back in the attic, could I? Go look around. And no, okay. That place is for cutscenes only and for bats to drop me off in. It's getting rough out there. It is getting rough out there. Uh, uh, there's stuff to get in these rooms. Shall we check them out? We shall not check them out. We must go all the way down. Uh-oh. If we can just get rid of Jeremy, everything will go back to normal. That reminds me. I saw Miss Emily earlier. You remember her? You know she's Jeremy's niece. She's looking for him. That's right. She's helping us in her own way. As long as she don't stand in the way of the mother of a thousand young. <laughs> I don't think she knows or cares about that. She just helped the gym. Are you good? I'll be more worried about that detective calm if you've been snooping around asking all kinds of questions. <laughs> He's not even bothered. Uh, hurts. Oh, sh I wish you would stop doing that. <laughs> Gives me the heebie jeebies. Did she get attacked or something? Uh, should have I gone all the way down? I guess I could go back. The orderlies, Baptiste and Lottie, were back at Desetto as well. Like pieces of Emily's past haunting her. She couldn't figure out if they were on her side or not. And what was Lottie suffering from? Okay, so yeah, originally they were like, we're trying to, like, we're, like, every single time we met one of them, it was like, oh, we're looking for Jeremy, we're like staying in this place to look for him. We just didn't know he, they were trying to kill him. But honestly, they might be trying to kill him to like, do something, um, good, because <laughs> everything's kind of going badly. Okay. Um... I need the map, is what I was trying to do. Uh, there's a lot of pink rooms. What's all the way below here? Oh, right. When we haven't gotten... Okay, I'm gonna guess that's where the ritual's gonna happen. That's probably where we're gonna go next, if I had to guess. Okay, so we just need to go into those pink rooms and like figure it out. I feel like this is probably the last kind of go around we probably get to do. Oh, the roots really took took everything around in this room. It's on everything. Okay, yeah, let's go over here. There's something in the washroom, wash closet, I guess. The toilet. <laughs> What is going on here? What did I miss? <laughs> I definitely missed something. 
I don't know what it was, though. <laughs> So there's something in here. Oh! Oh, there's no way. There's just no way. Okay, so that's probably, it's, it won't be pink anymore. And it's not, okay, we need to go into Lottie's room. There's something here as well. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the dark man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is our goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. The Thompson. The child is fully evil. I wonder if she was getting blood, like, blood. If that's why she poked me with that needle, she's getting blood for, like, this ritual or whatever. Okay, so that should be this room good. Yeah, let's make sure we definitely go into all the pink rooms. Uh, library, there's something. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony, a monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day all 12 members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915. Pretty but bad. nothing truly supports this claim. What is right known now? is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the pirates of Pontchartrain. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Kassel did know, because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of their Seto's history. A fertility god, a ritual, a goat without horns. Okay, I'm, okay. Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elia Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Derseto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigrath. As much as Derseto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigorath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. 
almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Urnaus Preschlichen Kultin and the Necronomicon, and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Darseto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte Artis colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Well, I'm gonna guess the fertility goddess is who they were talking about. Uh... Um... Like Lottie. Okay, there should be something in this room. I don't know what it is, but. Oh. Okay, Grace is in there. Okay, it looks like we'd be picking up, like, kind of the rest of the stuff. Hmm. I need a key for this? Drawing room is locked, and we heard voices. Sounded like Grace to me. Kid. Okay, so that is... We need to get across the way. And then... We haven't even been into the empty room, Ruth's room, or... McCarthy? We still need to go upstairs and do those rooms, too. Are you gonna play through David Harbour's part after Jody today? Just finishing her, finishing her side of the story for now. Are they different? I kind of figured everything would exactly happen but it would just be like it didn't seem like a resident evil like leon is part a claire is part b and they're different it seemed like david harbour would be doing exactly what she is doing only the dialogue would be a bit different but if it's different then yeah i'll play it not probably not today though i think they're slightly different but not by much i need to make sure Yeah, it didn't, for me, and I could be completely wrong, it kind of felt like, I mean, maybe you do get to see what he's doing this whole time, but if you're not finding, he didn't see, he said he didn't see a single monster. I can't imagine playing his side of the story and not seeing a single monster. That, that just doesn't make sense to me. Your map is of no use here. Yeah, let me just look around here. Okay, so we need to go to the food and wine cellar. Let's do that first. The conservatory needs to be checked as well. I think this is the way to the food and wine cellar. This high is the easy difficulty. Ah, oh, fuck. Can we not go in there? Oh, this is not even. Okay. This is not even anything. Excuse me as I check the map, literally two seconds. I have the memory of a fucking goldfish. Okay, yeah, we just need to go inside. And then we need to do upstairs. Maybe, I probably should have checked the upstairs on the other side, but hey. We're just running around, having a good time. This is still locked. This is a room I need to go in because I need to go to everything, yeah. There's something in here to grab. Oops. 
<laughs> I don't know. Well, Mr. Oh. Waits must have had a spare key to Dr. Bray's office, but where? Oh, definitely the safe. Okay, so this is so this is what we're trying to do now. We are trying to do the safe. I need the key. Yes, you do. Okay, so we probably have what we need to do to get the safe then. There was something in here. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, I can actually play these too. What a terrible thing to I've recognize that your betterment was an illusion. <laughs> that you are so infatuated by the virtue of struggling that despite all your hard work, you made no real efforts to ever become well. Or that the treatment becomes such an obsession that instead of letting your wounds heal over time, you tear at the flesh in the hope that it will heal better and faster. If only it would bleed in the way you wanted. Do we ever become well? What do you think, Dr. Gray? Same locations have the same re revelations where the characters communicate differently. But that makes sense because she's like, she's looking for her uncle. Um, where like a detective is like, has no... I mean, it's his job, but he's got no stake in this. He's just like a PI or something. Uh... All right, so if the safe is what we're meant to do, then maybe we do this last? Cause like, yeah, break into Dr. Gray's office. Hints. Open up the safe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's come back to this. We've, I'm sure we have every single thing that we need, but I'm going to just really get every single thing that we can. Oh, there's a lot of things here, huh? Okay. Wait. This, this takes us back to the stairwell and stuff. So let's go this way first. Hey, little lady, how's your evening been going? Don't even talk Ups to me. Ups and downs, I suppose. <laughs> I hear that. We all live in the life of an elevator operator. Are you all right, sweetie? Do you want to see my mask, miss? I'm making it for St. John's. That's horrible. Wow. Uh, how did you... Is that supposed to be my f Ow! <laughs> you, oh. you should learn your place, little girl. Actually? Why are you acting this way? <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Why are you acting this way? <laughs> this video <laughs> little uh, game uh, little girl is about to uh, fucking uh, catch race. these hands. I know. She's playing a part. Her... Oh, she knows she's supposed to be the the goat without horns. She's playing her part. Listen, I get it, but <laughs> digital little video game girl's gonna fucking get it. She's gonna fucking get it. Oh, what? What do you mean full? What just happened? What? What do you mean full? Why did what? <laughs> Why did I get the jack in the box? Uh, uh, uh huh. The mask had reminded Emily of her father. It didn't seem like a chance connection, but a purposeful reference made by that child. How could Grace have known what he looked like and that it would upset Emily so? And why would she use those words? Emily felt like it was beyond strange. It felt impossible. Did it even happen? Was she losing her mind? Probably. Okay, so Grace's room is taken. I don't, I grabbed the jack in the box, but I was full? I, I, I don't know where the fuck that just went. It didn't go in my inventory. I guess I have that now. Whatever that means for me. Oh. This is mine now, thank you. <laughs> I'll just borrow these. I'll just borrow these! <laughs> Thanks, Grace. Oh yeah, this too. There's something missing. Yeah. At least he's breathing. 
I'll just let him sleep it off. <laughs> At least Grace didn't fucking kill him. I'll just let him sleep it off. There's something else in the sitting room here. What? Oh, yes. The fucking puzzle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Cassandra's room. We need something. Oh, Slaughter Gulch, huh? Oh! What did you expect from them? You created too much. There wasn't any room to breathe. Your reification rendered all possible worlds void. You took everything they could imagine and constrained it into something that you didn't even care about. Or maybe you did. Perhaps you cared the most of all. Maybe you tried to save them from themselves. And that is why you had to die. Right, because we saw Cassandra. She was dead in the cemetery. Okay, was that... Oh. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long. But that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside. He would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. That is so funny because I was like, I wonder if, uh, where was it? It said 913 in um, the one that was all blacked out. Not this one. Not this one. This one. Right there. Date of admission, 913. I literally almost tried that number in the safe. That 913 right there. I was like, I wonder if that's going to be the safe. And it fucking was. I mean, I didn't say it out loud, but I mean, I remembered those numbers and that it was there. So you're just going to have to believe me or not. That's fine. Okay. So we got that. Yeah, those are good. You could have looked like a genius. I could have. Um. Okay, so... I need to go into Jeremy's room. I believe you. <laughs> the, the emoji, or the emote with the shaking the head. Uh. Okay, so this is, this is the locked globe is why it's red in here. We have the key to the first floor. I don't know if the safe is the end all be all to this portion. Or I just want to look around before I do it, but I also don't want to miss it if it's something you can miss. You know what I mean? Detective Combi, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to New Orleans. Sincerely, Jeremy. I wonder if that's why he came to the attic and I was just happened to be there. He didn't really tell me that... He did want to take me back to New Orleans, but he didn't really say that he was safe. He was just like, I know why he's hiding because these people are crazy. Okay. Batiste. Trust me. Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. Okay. Uh, I know they said that they wanted to kill my uncle, but I trust them. Like, I think they'll have good reasons for it. And if they don't, well... <laughs> uh, well... This isn't... I can't go in here, right? Like, this door is locked. This 
sorry i just keep oh this is to dr gray's apartment <gasps> right because this is the i think this is important uh oh okay i remember i remember i remember i remember i think this is important and it was and that's where we're going okay so now i know where not to go that's good we can now look the stair hall empty room roost room and um mccarthy's room we can go there why why do i struggle this way why can i never tell where the fuck i am on this goddamn map is this locked, locked. that's annoying uh that's annoying but okay i guess Uh Oh, I can go through the dining room, I think. <clears throat> it's blocked. What? Uh, uh, are you telling me I have to go all the way? Okay, is there anything in the basement I missed by the way while we're doing this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to go into the food and wine cellar, damn it. Maybe all that leads to it. The conservatory I need to go to on the first floor also. So maybe I go to the conservatory? Which I can get through to... Oh, but I can't get into the drawing. How? No, the library will take me there. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep going, keep going. Here, there's something in here. There's something on the bottom floor below us. Okay. Does that mean there's something here? Oh. Mrs. Thompson, there we go. I understand the last week has been busy. Under these circumstances, I find it important to remind you that Dorsetto's concerns are not a public matter, nor is it something that should upset you. Please continue your excellent work, and don't spend a thought on the death of Perosi, or, more importantly, the suicide of Cassandra Beauregard. They should mean nothing to you or the staff. I rely on your loyalty, and trust that your close kinship with the Tabois siblings will keep Dorsetto's secrets hidden. Dr. Gray. Okay. Alright, so now... I can go to the first floor this way. Uh, you fucking asshole. Just put it back. What? <laughs> How could they do this to me? Bro. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe this. They keep locking shit around me. It's the worst, man. Oh my god, I can't. that's not even gonna let me in there. How do I get back? Maybe I can't until I do what is, like, asked of me here? Hmm. Okay. Because so I have this stuff for the safe. Is it just, like, begging me to go do that? Because it won't let me into the dining room anymore. I, I did try. It's just blocked. Yeah, it won't even let me. And if I try to go around on the stairs, it won't let me. Because this is what I need to be doing, this door. Okay, cool. Thank you. I guess I will. I wanted to use the key, though. Yeah, I wanted to use the key. I just don't know a way. 
I just don't know a way. Unless I can go this way. Maybe I can? Uh, gallery and then down maybe? What's, what's this way again? Is there stairs here? There's the stairwell. Okay, hold on a sec. I'm super lost. I think it wants me to go do that, but I have this key and I don't want to miss it. But uh, maybe it's not missable. I Did I just unlock that? Nice. Okay. Let's try to go down. This was blocked though, wouldn't let me. Oh yeah, it would. Okay. And then below was that was locked. And then the top was the attic. Okay, I get it. And then this was locked. Because I'm get I'm being funneled here. Okay, and then this I actually need to go in here. Oops. A uh, wrong side. I actually need to go in here. But it's not gonna let me. We are very close. Okay, hold on. Actually, I think I could do this. Ah, oh, fuck. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean I can't go that way? What? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just- I'm stuck! They don't want me to do it. Okay, fine. I won't do it. I don't know how to get back to where I was, though. into <laughs> this door. No. Okay, yeah, I have to do the Dr. Gray stuff. They want me to very badly. Okay. We'll do, then. It's gonna be so honest, though. I do not know how to get back there. I guess try the doors that work. The doors that work will take me there. Because I need to get back to the safe. I have the code. I do have the code. Okay. How come I can't remember shit all? You know, actually, is this door unlocked? Is this where I was trying to go this whole time? The answer is yeah, actually. I was trying to go roundabout ways, but I think it's this door. <laughs> I don't think they can lock me out. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I was trying to get through it in the roundabout way. The dark man. Wants me to go in there. Um, <clears throat> is, is, is he gonna be a, a problem or is he still, is he still there? I can't believe I spent all that time being lost. Well, I mean, he's not here anymore. Mm, oh well. He, he may murder me, it, you know, it's whatever. Sometimes, I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better, when in fact we are here to be forgotten. Is the doctor bad? Did I call that? Interesting. 
His room is cleared out. Oh, dark man. Please don't be here. He did, like, point specifically to the room over there. Ruth, are you there? No, of course not. Ruth. Ruth. We're getting so many things, though. Castle built the zoetrope as an exercise in animation. He is very interested in moving pictures and has even ordered an aeroscope camera for the colony. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of phantasmagoria he will produce. For now, his zoetrope entertains me greatly. It's not the little man passing his head, while well, quite humorous, it's the spell of that flickering light as it rotates. I swear, it takes me back to my childhood in a most profound way. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we need to put something in there, which we do not have. She's got a whole... Oh, wait. What's that on the ground? <laughs> Nothing. What's around the room? Just to make sure I'm not missing it here. Okay. Dark man, please don't be here. Dark man. I'm begging, dark man. Let's unlock this. For easy not getting murdered access. <sighs> yeah. Okay. This is whose room? Empty room? Another safe? This this is my room. Oh, I belong here. Oh no. I recognize this view. I don't know the combination. Wait, maybe I do. I swear to God, if this is where I was meant to... Listen to me. If I need to go into Gray's room when I get back. Oh, bruh, easy. Don't even, don't even fucking joke with me. It was like 19 something. 1918. Don't even fuck with me. I fucking know. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, one. <laughs> okay. Um, mm hmm. 19. Am I gonna have to go fully around though? No, we're good. A light bulb. Oh, we need it for Ruth's. Darling, I finally found that photograph from my time in France during the war. I don't expect this to be your fiancé, but it did make me think of him. What an incredible man he must have been. You were lucky in a way. He could have been a nobody and died falling into the Mississippi. Instead, he volunteered to travel across the world to fight for people in despair, dying with honor like Achilles at Troy. I am jealous of you. Or maybe him. It's all incredibly romantic. That's what I wanted to say. Please feel free to use my camera if you want to. It might cheer you up. It might bring him closer to you. Even if just in memory. Ruth. Um, my husband is dead. I'm able to, I'm closer with Ruth than ever. What? How long have I been oh. here? How long have I, I thought my objective got completely erased and like I missed Dr. Gray's room and I was like, no. <sighs> Not like this. Oh, oh, this is Ruth's room. No. No. I didn't go into Doctor's Gray. No. What do I do? Did I just skip it? Bro. Wait. Hold on. Maybe I can go back. Oh, I should have saved. Hold on. Clean 
I didn't want. I didn't want that. I'll I find you, John. I didn't want that. I can. I'm so bad at trying to figure out what's extra stuff and what's the main story stuff. What was that? Yeah. What was that actually? I, I, I try so hard and I always, always misjudge. Oh, it's probably bullets because we're gonna need to fight shit here. Oh, yikes. Well, we didn't, no, no. Surely Mr. Gray is like the main bad guy, TM. right here. Maybe I should make it a, a... Oops. Maybe I should make it... I should have saved before I even tried anything. Man. Man. No, I believe. I believe. I believe everything will be fine. Is it dead end? Which means we check it. This is giving me, well, obviously it's just like war, but also uh, amnesia of the bunker. It was so. Wow, I have three bullets. It is amnesia of the bunker. John. Wait, is it, oh, this is John. This is John. Or no. She's just looking for him. Okay. God, there's so many dead people. It is so rough. Yikes. Everywhere I look, it's rough. Well, it's... Now I have... Four John. bullets. John, John, not, no, that's not John. There's no secret in here? I don't have to hide in here, do I? Oh. Trying. <laughs> Every fucking thing I've opened, there's been nothing. John. John, no, just a box full of nothing. Oh, no, this has bullets in it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just keep slowly reloading my gun. John. John. John? <laughs> Getting bullets, I'm definitely gonna have to fight something. I feel that in my bones. <gasps> oh god. N what? We have never had to We have never had to sneak before. Turn my fucking light off. Why is this a sneaking section? I wanna go back to Dr. Gray's office. <laughs> office. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I'm hidden as well as I possibly could be. Right, he can't hear. Or he can't he can't see, I mean. I think it uh we saw him in the um in the in the when we did the we like burnt all that oil. 
And like it was on fire and we like zip lined off the tower. Pretty sure that that's, this is this guy. I'm gonna wait until he goes back the other way and keep going. I hope he doesn't take the whole line up. I'll be sad if he does. He's gonna. I can't see. He's gonna turn him back around and fuck me. <sighs> <laughs> I'll just wait. I'll just wait. The worst part of fucking sneaking is fucking the waiting. Like, just go, my dude. I can't believe- I, I can't believe we're this far in the game and there's a sneaking part. <laughs> I can't believe it. Except for I can. I can believe it. Don't be mad at me. Begging. I didn't see anything, so... I'm just gonna keep a going. I don't know if I can, like, run now, or... If I can't, but... probably could have. It's good though. Yeah. yeah. I'm say I don't have to sneak anymore. I might have spoken too soon. Oh boy. I don't think I'm fooling anybody. I don't think I'm fooling anybody. I need, uh, I need everything. I need all the things. Something happened that I need all the things. Nothing? Wow. Okay, nothing. Wow. Am I going back into sneaking territory? Where I came from? I don't think so. I think this is the only way I can go. No! Okay. gonna say if I didn't if I just didn't get any fucking anything I'm gonna be pissed okay, so I this full circle or I think when you sniffing I have to stand still I'm just guessing though is there two um it's killing me it's killing me Killing me. Always time for stuff. Collectibles and shit, man. There's nothing here. <laughs> I 
Save, so it's gonna be a quiet thing. Debris. That's a bad weapon. Okay. Where do I even hide? I don't know if that means anything. Am I- is he gonna circle around and we're gonna be kissing- touch, touching noses here? Oh yeah. Hey, is this gonna be a problem? to go. I'm gonna guess left. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hope he's a good far distance away from me. Wait, hold on. Actually? Actually? I can't save. Stuck here. I was gonna say, I was gonna save. Yeah. And then check what was here. I can't get- <coughs> oh. Okay, literally nothing. Or maybe something, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to see if it was a secret, but I think it just goes back around. I could be completely wrong, though. Am I meant to be sneaking? I don't... Direction's unclear. may not be good. Not good. In fact, may not be good. <laughs> I gotta run. There's no way I can Oh, that oh okay, okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. No way. There's no way. I did not, in fact, find my fiance. 
I didn't find my fiance. I didn't find Mr. Gray. Oh, I'm crawling. Oh, it died? How did it die? There's no way I can kill that thing, she says, as she simply gets attacked by it and it dies. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I guess I'm good, though. Okay. We're gonna get some closure. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I guess I'm good. Today, the American Expeditionary Forces face considerable John? losses in France. A brave men fallen on these elite John. fields will forever be oh, as John. not of just Europe, but the world. What's the matter, Emily? President Woodrow Wilson spoke to our I can't do this. Stand tall What's the matter? I can't take you dying again. Speak of them proudly and remember I'm them still proudly. hurting. What's the matter, Emily? But war effort in Europe is not our Your death country. was just so death on the shameful. On the rise due to Unfair. Influenza known as the Spanish. That that symbol we saw on the note, the I think, City Council that Lottie wrote. Yet another emergency hospital in the I think. old Gersetto plantation. Ugh, I miss what the radio guy was saying because I was fucking talking. Am I in that basement? I am. Where is this? Where am I? Find out where you are. I'm in the basement. Well, let's just Emily check the map. Emily woke to an overwhelming smell of musty earth and gluttonous thick air. Where was she? Uh, yeah, this. Trust me. That was what was on his helmet. Okay. Okay, obviously, clearly, I'm in the basement. <laughs> Let's not be silly. There's something in here for me to get. Bruh. My light oh, come on. is not working. I keep turning it on. Oh my god, dude. There's something in here for me to find. I don't know what it is. Oh, get the power back on. Let's see that. Uh oh. Oh, just kidding. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, just That's kidding. Better. I'm a fucking genius. Okay. Set of technical drawings detailing how parts of DeSetto will be sealed off. Okay. But there's still more. But wait, there's more. Bullets. Mm -mm. Biscuits, nice. Close in the refuge, June 17, 1919. It is with a heavy heart that I must declare the DeSeto refuge to be harmful beyond saving. As an emergency hospital, we have over the last two years treated hundreds of patients suffering the so-called Spanish flu. Unfortunately, our mortality numbers are unforgivable. While the influenza in itself was often successfully treated, Many died of fungal infections and sudden acts of violent madness. In order to dismantle the refuge safely, building engineers will survey what parts of the house are especially contaminated by the peculiar rot discovered by Jean-Baptiste Tambois. The rot is believed to be the main perpetrator in spreading the deadly fungal infection, but also the cause of the incurable madness. The most Afflicted rooms will then be sealed permanently to create a cordon sanitaire. As the dead seem to exacerbate the spreading of the fungal infection, all bodies that can't be cremated by tomorrow 
will be forever entombed inside Dossetto's sealed section. The refuge was never meant to be permanent, and as the influenza epidemic seems to be in decline, it stands to reason that we shut the facility altogether. Many brave volunteers have helped for very little pay to treat those in need for almost two years, and we are forever in their debt. All surviving patients will be transferred to other medical facilities around New Orleans as soon as possible. At the end of the summer, we should be able to leave DeSeto to recover. Okay. Uh, let me save also. Now that I know I can. Okay. So was that everything in this room? No. There's still more. Oh, oh yeah, there is still more. Oh. Okay. All right. Hold on. Now hold on a minute. A minute. We're getting a new map now, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't know what's happening, but don't make me. I can't even, I can't even see it. <laughs> I can't even see it. What am I? What? What? How? What? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, what? Solvable. <laughs> oh, okay, solvable, guys. It's solvable. To place the piece correctly, you need to match them to the floor plan underneath the piece. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Will do. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I didn't even think to fucking look under there. Some that is the spiciest, my bad. Archives? Do we even have an archives? Oh, I had it in the right place. Okay, this is the rest of the morgue. Which I can't see. Somehow it got so dark. Repository. Laboratory. Foyer. Is this the foyer? This is nothingness, so yeah, this can go here. Surgery. Yeah, okay. What's that? I don't know. I barely knew what I was doing. Oh, he came here. He got hurt and he came here. Or sick and came here. Since he could have had, you know. <gasps> no, uh her fucking dead husband's corpse is not just sitting down here with her. <laughs> Two seventeen. That's probably something. Two seventeen. Oh, John. I didn't know this is where you would end up. I didn't want to know. I stopped visiting you because I couldn't stand the indignity of your awful illness. I was ashamed of you. Ashamed of myself. Forgive me. Please, John. Let me go. <laughs> um, is the dark man not right there looking at her? <laughs> um, if... If I have to immediately start running from him, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Are we done here? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Throw a key at me, shut up. Uh, 
Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What the heck, man? What the heck, man? Wait, what? <laughs> Thank you. Dying with dignity. So what, what happened? So we thought he just like died in the war, but actually he was sick or he was hurt and he came here. Okay, I need to keep going this way. Old archives. I don't think I can get to the food cellar from here. Oh, we probably need to go up to the infirmary. Well, can I use the key or? No, okay. She said she was ashamed of his illness, which immediately made me think shell shock or PTSD. She did say that, but I've, what's there to be ashamed of? Is it just like, it was, you know, back in the day where where, like, basically any sort of mental illness was a weakness. They thought it was cowardice. Okay. The truth. And we're considered weak for not being able to handle the war. Oh. Even though, yeah, they're just... I abandoned him! Even though, literally, uh... You know, just watching people get absolutely torn apart in front of you, exploded... Your friend's dying all the time. What? Yeah, yeah, they're just being a coward, not being able to handle all that. Oh my god. Partial capture of a brain grimed by unsettling darkness. Okay. Some, some of the PTS, PTSD cases are awful. Yeah, I'll fucking bet. I will fucking bet. <laughs> Jesus. Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Date June 14, 1930. Plates. Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs worked best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates Kay. together. So we have one, we need two more. Observations. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Oh. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Uh, 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 okay. Yikes. Okay, did I skip? John Have I... Marcus died at Deseto of the Spanish flu. Oh, he died of the flu. <laughs> stopped visiting him because she didn't want to see him waste away. She adopted a lie because it felt better. Okay, it wasn't PTSD. It was the, the Spanish flu. Man that passed away in Deseto. But she was very proud of the man she made up. A man who died a martyr in the trenches of France. <sighs> this must have been the true trauma that the dog man specified in the contract. But why was it Emily's <sighs> and not Jeremy's? She was ashamed that he was wasting away from his illness that was killing him? Listen, I'd like to think the PTSD, the PTSD, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, that's a hard hitter. Like, we're really, like, it's a narrative about how, like, you know, people just didn't, like, respect, I don't know, 
you know, things like therapy and, and, and mental health and stuff. Like, damn, like, hard hitter. And it's just like, <laughs> the game was like, no, fuck all that. It was the Spanish flu that she was ashamed of. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, all right. Hypothetical psychosurgery <sighs> based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance, as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing, and I should have Waits order a new one. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. I don't think I have enough pieces. A key? Cool. Did I skip? I didn't skip the Dr. Gray's thing, did I? Pro probably not, right? Okay, so we need the power on and we won't be able to see. The, the light needs to come on behind it. in here first since I think we have the key for the other room. Okay, did we get everything? Besides the... <sighs> Dude comes back from World War One and probably does have some form of PTSD but it was the flu she was judging. Yeah, you know, how dare. Nothing more cringe than dying of the flu, am I right? <laughs> am I right, everybody? I'll be taking this, thank you. What's this? Well, it was a fuse. Wait, there's still something in here? There's still something in here? Where? It says there's still something in here! Where is it? Turn on the electricity. Yeah, I know. But it's still- so the thing is, it's still pink here? Maybe we need to turn on the light before we can see all the things. That's how it was last time. Uh Yes. Okay, so they all need to be down if it's like last time. I see. I don't see. I got it. Oh, that's better. Oh, that is better. Well, this one said one. Okay. Do we even have the other half of this? Wasn't it like three pieces though? This is not the piece. This, oh. oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Patient Jeremy. Are we looking for another piece maybe? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna go look around now. Oh, it's solvable. It's solvable. There we go. Now that the lights are on, I can 
grab stuff. Okay, there's something in this hallway? It's locked. There we go. Okay. Terceto stands on a breeding ground for the grotesque. A temple devoted to rebellious growth. The most ugly and cancerous side of nature. You may be able to shield your psyche for a while, but rest assured your soul will come to pray to that hideous god in time. That is the story of every man and woman who gather around that ancient arbor. They all croak, bark, and bleat because their own bodies are afraid and they wish to repel the evil those words conjure. Ia! Ia! Instead of that blasphemous name, they gossip in hushed whispers the name of their seto, Astarte, and the Black Goat of the Woods. I couldn't scroll down. It kind of bothered me that that was cut off, but... Okay, so is that the hallway done? Yes, we just need this room now. And then we can do the solvable. Wow, no way that was it. <laughs> I needed to open it up and there wasn't even anything in there. Okay, you got me. You got me. What a funny joke. Good prank. Good prank. Crap. Okay, so this is solvable. They did say three. I certainly feel like... This has got to be one, right? Because it says patient Jeremy. Um, but uh, uh, oh my God. So So it's gonna be something like that. This is a fucking mess. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually better than I thought. Nope. Wait, hold on. Oh, it could be like this though. It could be like that. Let's switch that. Better or worse? Can't tell. Cannot tell. Honestly, if they fuck, if they wrote, no, never mind. the The bottom one has to be right. This one sucks. Oh, you know what? There's also. Do you see how there's also. Like, the pins also? I wonder if they're, like... Hmm. I don't know. I thought the paper clips were also giving a hint, too. I feel like this has to be the bottom, right? Because it's got the patient, it's got the name. Like, oh, this one's to the left, so maybe we're meant to try to fit it here somewhere? Oh. Okay, maybe that is. Maybe that is the vibe. There we go. Okay, I, the paper clips I think were. <gasps> what is that? Piece of a, a broken piece of burned clay. Its size suggests it being a part of a statue. I've done it. Okay, how do I... This way? I need to go up the stairwell now. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! Oh! This is the... And the... And the stairwell and the... <gasps> yay, 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 yay. Oh no. 
Oh oh. Oh no, it's <laughs> Oh no. It's filling. It's filling. It's filling. Okay, I will be saving. I will be saving. Because I think now we have free reign of the house again. The attic. They want me to go in the attic, then I'll go in the attic. I guess I never got a chance to look around this place. Yeah, it was just like a cutscene. The noose, chill. Except for not at all. So, you know, if they're planning on lobotomizing you, like, honestly, what fucking choice do you have? Jesus. Six, four, one. I feel like this feels like the top, maybe. <laughs> what did I do? Ain't no way that was correct. I was fucking around. What do you mean that was right? What do you mean that was right? jump down if I want to. Do I want to? Uh, is the noose gonna take me somewhere? I'm saving again. I can't save. Look back here. There's nothing back here. <sighs> this looked hidden as heck. What the heck? I can't look at the noose anymore. Okay. That's sad. Oh, I'm like somewhere now. Okay. I guess I'll jump down. The 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 noose I was okay. I don't know what's happened. I never got to look in the <laughs> office. This feels familiar somehow. I Hello? Su Is anyone there? Jeremy, where are you? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking me. Jeremy, can you hear the me? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll get the boat running. I'll, I'll get you out of here. You're never going to find out what the fuck it was in Dr. Gray's office. A ghostly voice sounding like <laughs> Jeremy called out for help. Emily couldn't quite understand where the voice was coming from. It somehow seemed to be a part of the place itself. All she could make out was that Jeremy was stuck and needed her to get the steamboat running. Okay, do I have a map of this? Okay, map no use here. Will do. Will do. I'm just running in a direction. Wildly. I have no thoughts, but... <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> that was not the correct button to be hitting. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Oh. Okay, okay, that's fucking enough. Does this thing not die? No, it did. That was... <laughs> First of all, I hit the wrong button. Can I just say that? The button was not correct. The button to hit, that was not correct. Mm, okay. Hold on a sec, let me go back. I like literally just ran off in a direction and I didn't look around at all. There might not even be anything to look around, but I thought that, yeah, I thought there was like these two outsides. Oh, it's just gonna be nothing. Oh no, not nothing. Hold on, not nothing. Oh, great, I did just hurt myself, so. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, that scared me. Also, I was definitely hitting um, X and definitely not circle, which would be B. And uh, yeah, there was there was so much panic in my heart. <laughs> I just want you to know. The boat has run aground, crashed right into the bayou. If I get the motor running, I could try backing into the river. Okay. Go down. Locked. Locked. Go upstairs first. Okay, maybe let me go down first. Well, eh, let me go first. Up first. No, this looks important. Let me go down first. <laughs> and I just can't make up my mind. I've made so many choices up until now. Uh, something is a crunching and a munching. Jeremy. Where are you? Gonna guess, um... Oh. There are many ways to cross a threshold. The easiest one is being invited. A door swung open, leading you inside. Another is sleep, hypnosis, or even sudden fright. There are those who fold spaces that challenge Mobius, or jump through angles that defy Euclid. If you learn to properly use your talisman, you could go anywhere. You wouldn't even need to rely on the fluttering wings of the shrieking Biakis. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, was this a little secret actually? I don't really find a way to keep going. Oh, cool. That was a secret. Nice. I made a good choice for once. Okay. Okay, now we can go upstairs. Now, those little shits with the shells, very tough. Very tough. I'm stuck. So this is all overgrown, I can't. Okay, I can jump down, which I will not be doing until I look around here. I can throw stuff, so shit's gonna attack me. There's also a way to go down in the lifeboat. Holy shit, there's so many ways. I go in first. 
Oh my goodness gracious. There's actually so many ways. Hey, I need some ammo if if the game wants to give me some. That would be nice. I'm definitely gonna accidentally miss stuff here. Broke on the it's, uh, it, uh, The other side is blocked on the other side. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh. Okay. Hard puzzle. Got it. Nailed it. Man, that looked like a fancy chest, huh? We could find a map to this boat. That'd be kind of sick. Really? Nothing? Okay. Okay, so do we drop down? Do we go into the lifeboat? The options are endless. And uh, sure are a lot of melee weapons here. What's what's that about? We wouldn't happen to be happen to fight for our lives now, would we? Okay, let me get back across this way. I'm gonna go down the lightboat first. I just keep going to the same like three doors. Oh wait, this is new. <gasps> oh. Use <laughs> melee weapon. <laughs> Do it. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Drink. Oh. Wh wh what? Damn it! <sighs> Nothing? I'm kind of struggling with those guys. They're really tough. Okay. So, okay. Let's do the light boat first. So jumping in. The winch seems to be powered by electricity. Okay. Maybe I can find a way to turn it on. JK, we'll jump down the hole. <sighs> oh man, I was really hoping. You know what I was really hoping for. the fuck am I meant to kill these? Holy shit! Goodness gracious. Let's open that for future selves here. Oh, I see. Save. Also, now that I know I can. Okay. Aren't I just. Yeah, I'm exec. Wait, what was the point of that? <laughs> was I. Was it I meant to, like, turn on the power or something? That certainly wasn't it. What was the point of jumping down here just for that like, item? Get my ass kicked is what's happening though. Okay. I need to turn on the power, huh? 
Oh, guys. What am I missing here? Wait, hold on. 241. What chapter are we on now? Four. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on a sec. Wait, hold on a sec. I'm gonna figure it out. I can break this. <laughs> Should have just looked for the blood. No, 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 no need to timestamp it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I told you, but I'm rescinding the timestamp. Rescinding it. I was like, there's so many melee weapons. Surely I need to break through something, you know? I can go up the stairs. Okay, empty gas can. Cool, cool. I think it just needs fuel to run. Okay. I'm also just extremely well known with boats. Me and boats, you know? Okay. I'll look around before I... Nice. Machine guns are definitely the best way, but seven bullets aren't gonna go far. Nothing. Nothing? Absolutely nothing? Okay, we got one more. Okay, now we got power. Now we can take the lifeboat. Oh. Okay. Have to, something's gonna plow through a door or something. Like, how do I get? How do I get? Um, how do I get un out of here? Oh, right. I need to just go back the way I came. Got everything? Okay. Just go up the horrible, bloody roots. I hear music. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible up there, isn't it? <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, that's not... Wait, hold on. Why did these not fucking die? Jesus! on the main deck to the cart. I'm there, brother. <laughs> what the heck? What do you mean? This is me down in the car. <laughs> oh, yikes. Fuck me. 
I need to make everything count. I thought we were gonna shovel the coal into the thing. I was like, oh, okay. Oops, I should have looked around more. I didn't know that was gonna be the end. I ran out of the room. Jeremy? Are you ready to tell me what happened? <sighs> I put a rope around my neck, and then I strangled <laughs> all the life from my body. Uncle! Are you under the impression that you died? Yes. No. Uh, uh, I was supposed to die. What does that mean to you? That you were supposed to uh, die? I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story happen. What uh, story? They don't what are you anything. referring to, Jeremy? Thirty years ago, Frederic needed me to die. Jeremy! You're not making any sense, yeah. Jeremy. Come back. Find your focus. Uncle? I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. I escaped my doom. <gasps> Destiny! Again, find your focus. Jeremy! Now everything is wrong. Nothing is in place. Hey, listen to me. We're gonna drown. Calm down, Miss Hartwood. You're not in any danger. <sighs> but I wanted to check the room. Jeremy, he was here, wasn't he? Miss Hartwood, I am beginning to suspect your family curse is catching up with you. Have you ever talked to a doctor about your condition? No. No, I... I was just confused. I thought I saw him for a moment. I'm fine. I'll let you be. Miss, I want you to know I'm here to help. If you need me. When therapy makes it worse. Hey, I'm right here, actually. Oh, perfect. What was it? 931? brother. <laughs> I need in there. No! No! <laughs> Let me in that fucking safe! Let me in that fucking safe! <laughs> what am I writing down? What am I writing down? What do I keep writing down? Oh, hold on. I know where I am. Uh... Emily found herself in... <sighs> Why am I not allowed? It keeps just writing down things, but what are they writing down? Yo, what? Why it looked like this? My objective is to break into Dr. Gray's office. Hints, open up the safe. I, I know the safe combination. 
How dare you not let me? I can't How leave yet. I need to get Jeremy out of here. How dare you think I don't know the code? It's locked now! How dare you think I don't know the code? I know the code! I just did other stuff first! Wow. Fine, whatever. I guess we'll break into his office instead of just using the fucking code. No, no, it's fine. No, no, it's- it's fine. Is this the way? This is not the way. Wait, what is going on? How do I... Oh, so here. You don't have the office key? I don't. It's gonna make me break in even though I know the code, which is so annoying. I know how to get in, I just... I just didn't. It's like, oh, you needed to go the other route to know? Miss Hartwood, lock the door, will you? I'd rather not run into dear Dr. Gray if I can help it. I could have done it. This feels strange. So very it. strange. Not oh. <laughs> oh! We got the... You okay? This place? It's like something from my childhood. It's just the private study of a very peculiar man. The music? I think this is it. I'm properly mad. You should be. Dr. Gray's playing with fire. Their set is a powder keg of loonies all ready to play their part in a murderous cult. Oh, uh, it tells you something in this room lets you access Dr. Gray's office. So there was something else in there that I would have liked. <sighs> I'm it's trying fine. to say I've lost my mind, Detective. The Hartwood curse is caught up with me. I'm sure you're exaggerating. Try to focus on whatever you've been doing. Right, breaking the Dark Man's contract. Does it even matter anymore? Everything is so sad to me. I wanted to open that. I wanted to open that. I had the code and everything. I want to know what's in there. There's a book missing. Okay. Well, here's the book. Myth of the Golden Fleece. It's a hollow book. <laughs> Cannot believe. Okay. You know, the other oh, one was probably in the safe. <laughs> the other one was probably in the safe. Nothing makes me sadder than missing extra stuff. A secret door. Looks like it. Careful. Let me go first. Okay. I mean, I've had way more action than you this this evening, now but... Now we're talking. Great job, Emily. Mm -hmm. I did do a great job, didn't I? I do love this part. Found anything? Oh, Dr. Gray's in so deep, I knew it. He's as mad as his patients. I mean, look at this. She who can till the soil of this sick world and begin again. The black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. I have the strangest sensation that this is somehow Jeremy's room. What? No. This is Dr. Gray's private quarters. I wonder if this is what it looked like in the original game. I feel... I want to apologize, Detective, for my elusive behavior tonight. I'm glad you haven't given up on me and my uncle yet. Ah, oh, you got nothing to apologize for. In fact, you've been out of my hair for most of the evening, you're self-reliant, and you've been 
helping with your own particular brand of investigation. As far as I'm concerned, you're an exemplary client. Thank you, Edward. Mr. Carnby. No more? I believe I didn't see that before. Hold on, I'm stuck. Then I guess it's for that chest right there. This has something to do with the numbers for the talisman. The Snake Dagger, a monograph by Yael Klein. In Ludwig Prinn's book on pagan rituals called The Mystery of the Grave, as translated by Nicholas Vahi, there are several references to a sacrificial dagger called the Snake Dagger. It has long been thought of as a poor translation of the original text. That it would be more appropriate with Worm Dagger from the Latin Vermis Cultrum. This seems natural following the recent consensus that the original title of Prin's book, The Vermis Mysteris, should literally translate to the Mystery of the Worm. However, this would take away from Vahi's great effort at translating the underlying meaning of the words and revealing several cultural beliefs. While Prin certainly was using the term worm as a symbol or synecdoche for death and the dead, which is made clear by the contents of the book, in the case of the dagger, we shouldn't be too hasty to dismiss his translation. Reading through Vahi's correspondence with his patron, it appears that he had more than just the Latin text at his disposal. Vahi had dug up Prin's living relatives and uncovered several cross-referenced historical texts and an actual snake dagger. The dagger was dated to the early Middle Kingdom of Egypt and had such a clear shape of a wave that Vahi considered calling it the sinusoidal blade. Knowing the full story, it seems prudent that he chose to translate it as snake and not worm. There are several reasons why this choice of word helps us understand the pagans that Prin's book attempts to describe. The symbolic value of the shape becomes more apparent when reading about the use for the dagger. In the passage of possession and exorcism, we find the snake dagger poisons the poisoner within the victim and is therefore pacified. Where the literal text would tell us that the worm dagger trumps the demon possessing the victim, it tells us nothing of their reasoning, only that somehow this dagger wins against the demon, like it had the better hand in poker. Vahi's translation allows us to follow the underlying logic to the ritual magic that is being performed. Poison the poisoner, Sounds like fighting fire with fire. That to hurt the demon possessing its victim, the priests would have to fight back with a power that is known to the evil they are fighting. The snake dagger is therefore not only a good way to describe its form, but it also helps us understand how it could be thought of as a useful tool for exorcism. Finally, it also helps us understand their relationship to lunacy that it was thought of as something poisoning the mind rather than controlling it. What is also interesting to note is that the possessed are always considered poisoned in their head and not their heart. The snake dagger always went to the eye of the possessed, leaving them partially blind, if they had the good luck to survive. So we need to stab our uncle in the eyeball uh gently <laughs> are is are we just not doing our own sort of lobotomy i guess just make sure the angle isn't brain and more just like eyeball <laughs> uh i feel like uh, i feel like that's what it's gonna end up being it's like we have to like do this horrible unspeakable thing to our uncle to like make the possession stop but then like he won't even be the same anyways Ha! <laughs> 
good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother, Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes. You're from the Seattle, no? That's right. I just wanted to ask you a few questions to see if there is anything I can do to help you and your family. Okay. I understand you're full of imagination. You make up a lot of things. I suppose. And you obsess over them, blurring reality and fiction. Oh, sometimes. I was like, where are we? Do you want to tell me about the Dark Man? <sighs> no. No, I, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something yeah. else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up, but you hold dear. Juan? John? Who's John? No. Juan Luis Jorge. Oh, wait there a moment. Here, take a look. <laughs> Jeremy fetches me a is book. He... Oh, he is the author. It's a magnificent book. Life-changing, even. The real one is long dead, but I like to think of him as my, my friend. M my most beloved friend. I see. Do you often do this? Fantasize about people you read about? No. No. Well, there is Jacob. Who is Jacob? Turn to the last page. Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice, Jacob Van Ostart. Is he also your beloved friend? Oh, no, Doctor. Not at all. He is the fire that fights fire. Yes, I think it's clear your overstimulated imagination, this mania, needs to be tempered for you to live a normal life. I know your family calls it the Hartwood Curse, but I want you to know that there is nothing supernatural about your condition. It's all inside your head. And with that, I'm very qualified to deal with. In time, you will be cured. In time. In time. Yes, in time we will exercise all your demons. All the dark men. Yeah! Please, yeah! Mr. Hartwood, calm yourself. <laughs> Sorry. What happened? <laughs> oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. Your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. Altered, alerted his niece. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah! Okay. Can I talk to him before? Nope. Okay. I can't, like, run in this, so I have to dash everywhere. Answer the phone. There was nothing even in the... <laughs> she is now moving on her own. <laughs> I got... I got it revoked from being silly. Hello? Who's there? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Jeremy is with the dark man? Where? Who is he? What, what is the dark man? The Hartwood curse. He will come for you too. <laughs> Absolutely not. see the broken clock. Oh, hold on a sec. I gotta see if my my boy wants to talk. He in fact does not want to talk. Oh, I keep getting turned around there. Stop. <laughs> Stop. She keeps turning around on her own. Okay. I'm gonna be so honest right now, I have no fucking clue what number you want me to put in there. Not a, not a single, not a, not a single one. Um, <clears throat> snake dagger, yup. 
All else fails, sure. Oh, you know what? Maybe the four thing. <laughs> okay, it looks like it is on... These are not symbols I know. <laughs> These are not symbols I know. Two on the bottom and then one on top. Like the big one on top. Why does she always turn around here? Stop, stop, stop. You stop. Uh, stop turning around, I'm begging. Okay, so I'm not even gonna go by numbers. I'm gonna go by... Oh, yikes. Shoot. Dang. Thought that was it. Where's the circle? <laughs> Pitch is breaking? Yeah, no, I fucking know. Oh, it's actually, they're on the bottom, and the big one's on top. My bad. Stop, stop. Why is it so weird here? Why can she not walk straight there? Fuck. Okay, vice versa. Sorry. I never got to look at the noose either, like... Okay, I can go in the closet now. Don't be weird. <gasps> Is he gonna be gone? He's not gone. You heard the telephone ring, right? No, the telephone's cut off. I tried calling the police earlier. Uh oh. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Oh! <laughs> oh my. Hey. Oh my god! <laughs> Nothing, right? That's a closet. That's Watch right, this. detective. I'll see you later. I have to finish this. You're going inside the closet? I know what it looks like, but I can't explain it, much less justify it. Alright. You do what you have to do, miss. Goodbye, detective. the gate to another world. I'm so mad about that fucking safe. I will die mad about that safe. I had the numbers. I had the numbers in multiple different places. And they just simply didn't let me. Which is so upsetting. Up the sky and look for waypoint flags. Yikes. That did not help. Did that help? Did that help anybody? Man, I I feel like so it is safe <laughs> to say the game screwed you on that one. <laughs> uh, the last piece of this uh, uh, three I was gonna say threesome and I couldn't think of a better word to say threesome. This fucking uh, trifecta of items here could have been in that fucking safe, man. That beautiful, beautiful threesome of items. We found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean. 
after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Jacob van Ostadt was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. The site was a remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares and headed toward the coast and up the climb towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him, transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, You must leave now, Hashtan. Go, and never come back. And so I left. Okay, so what am I, what am I doing with these flares? I fear I do not know. Wow. Going towards them. Okay. Keep going. case. I guess I'm doing it right. this fucking mountain. news I have like two flares left oh no okay Can we go the other way then I thought maybe the only way I could proceed forward is with the flares but I think I'm okay if I just keep going
shit, is this... Oh, I'm getting cold. This is not the way. How do I... How do I... How do I... This is where I die. I'm too cold. Warm me. Warm me, Flare. I have no more flares. I can't run anymore. Will it warm me? Is it warming me? I don't think it is. What am I meant to do with this place? There's nothing here. Oh wait, here it is. over here. Actually need the fucking flares, dude. Ready to go? I'm moving shit.
don't know if the outside is right. Hold on a sec, we're almost there. Yeah, that was good enough. I can't see what's going on. <laughs> I couldn't see what was going on. He's really fast! Oh my god. Oh my god. No. The eyeball. Do I have to think of everything? Goddamn weapon. I'm begging. He <laughs> tried to get back up. I said absolutely not. Do the eyeball. Uh oh. And it was Jeremy. Of course it was. We knew. We 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 fucking knew. No. No. Do not put me in control of her right now. I don't understand. Why are you here? I did everything you wanted to break the pact. What else can I do? It's like you know. Wait. It did work. That's why you're coming after me. You're in my head now. In that case, I hope you enjoy your stay. Emily, stop! <laughs> Don't worry. We got you. Okay, I knew they were pals. I knew they were pals. I knew they were pals. No, 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 keep her away from me. Are you alone? Or is he in there with you? Miss Hot, what is up? 
Uh, you almost painted the foyer with your own blood and guts. <laughs> Good to see you still in one piece. Stick around, will you? It's gonna be an exciting night. <laughs> okay. She's like, I've been through it. I've been through it so much. Good to see you made it, miss. And all that ruckus, a lot of give you a healthy dose of that sleeping juice. Wasn't sure you'd be waking up again. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Tried to shoot yourself. Sorry for the manhandling, but we just wanted to save you. You also stabbed Jeremy in the eye. Is he alright? Mm. He's a little strange. But everything else is back to normal. He's fine? Really? We just... I broke the pact? I don't know what you did, but it worked. Let's see you standing up, miss. We just... He just ended up with the lobotomy anyway. Jeremy, are you okay? <sighs> I'm so sorry for hurting you. How can you ever forgive me? Emily. I missed you so. I do hope you'll stay with me for a while. Uncle, what's wrong? Is it anesthesia? He, he seems so meek. I wish that was the case. <laughs> it turns out that you managed to lobotomize him. It's actually quite impressive, considering <laughs> This is permanent? <laughs> you sacrificed a piece of his mind to save the whole. It's a little like treating a bad knee by cutting off the leg. It's blunt, but it works. That's terrible. Perhaps. But at least he won't suffer anymore. Do you remember the dark man, Jeremy? Ah, yes. Where did he go? I hope he is doing all right. You see? With a violent stab, you made any future treatment quite redundant. I assume you will be bringing him with you back to New Orleans. I will. I just need to find Detective Carnby. Oh. Oh. Back to normal! <laughs> I, I don't... I don't know if that... I, I don't... Oh boy. We uh, we just came and just did what the fuck they were gonna do anyway. We didn't save him from we'll be anything. Back soon, Jeremy. Then we'll go back to the city. How fun. I do like riding in the motor car. <laughs> Normal's doing some heavy lifting. Uh, I literally came and I made it worse. I went on this harrowing adventure and literally just fucking made it worse. Is there any chance he'll relapse back to his previous condition? Bro, you stabbed him None in the brain. At all. He is forever cured from all worries and other difficult feelings. Uh, uh, uh. Have you seen Detective Carnby? I'm sure he's around here somewhere, poking and prodding. God damn it, if I had just found out what was in that safe, all would have been okay. Okay, that's their dialogue. Emily reluctantly accepted the bittersweet end to her journey. She had found Jeremy and brought him back to DeSeto, but at what cost? Partial blindness and permanent brain damage. Maybe it was for the best, she tried to tell herself. Jeremy did seem more docile, happier even. And whatever spell of insanity she had suffered herself, everything was finally set right. It was time to find Detective Conby and head back to New Orleans. Oh. I can't go anywhere. Look look at the puzzle piece in the clerk's office. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. Ruth's room has something now too. But it looks like we can only go. <gasps> Ruth. Well done, Miss Hartwood. You officially made Dorsetto the dullest place in existence again. Oh, thank you. Happy to be of service.
Have you seen Detective Carnby anywhere? <laughs> Still chasing that lovable palooka around, are you? I'm sure you'll find him. Can I write to you when I get back to town? <laughs> you are too sweet, Miss Hartwood. I'll look forward to reading all about your Whoa. tedious routine. Listen, she is wearing the the mask, um, but I will say Grace made it for her, and I'm not gonna hold that against her. I'm, she's not evil. She's f fine. And guess what? All of these people may band together to, uh, you know, th maybe I don't know, sacrifice uh, uh, David Harbor. But um, nah, nah. It's, me and Ruth are so good. Good to see you're still with us, miss. Are you hungry? No, thank you. I'm still a bit woozy. She looks upset. Ooh, is that gumbo? I make it every year. We set up a little feast by the wishing tree and start a new year together. Have you seen Mr. Carnby? I haven't seen him for a while. Maybe you left? I don't think so. I do not think so. Looks like a storm's coming. Radio says it could get real bad. Floodings and such. Yeah, because they have another ritual, right? The, ri the ritual where like everybody disappeared in a hurricane or something that happened here. Hmm, the weather is sure is suspicious. Ah, I should probably get moving before the weather gets worse. Have you seen Detective Carnby? Not for a while, but he says he's gonna wait for you. Good. Oh, nope. Take care, Batiste. Oh! You too, Miss Emily. Oh! <laughs> Hey, uh, what happened there? <laughs> um, uh, your, your pixels got a little crazy. I, the immersion was ruined. <laughs> I was reminded that I am just playing, that's right, a video game. I almost forgot this was here. The very heart of DeSetto, you know. Almost time to call on her. What is it that you do? Is it like the voodoo rituals you read about in the papers? I don't know, miss. I never saw one up close. My family has always been suspicious of the hoodoo. You haven't seen Detective Carnby, have you? No, and I hope he stays away. I don't think he would understand what is about to happen here. Do you know what's about to happen here? Just a little ceremony we do each year on the eve of St. John. We raise our glasses to the old wishing tree here and ask for a better year. Is it all for show? Or do you actually believe the tree can help? Well, I guess some of us do. I mean, Lottie and Mags are pretty invested. Taking it a little too far, you know. Sounds like you might be in a cult. <laughs> yeah, I can see how you think that. Guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to feel about anybody. Like, I don't know if they're evil, I don't know if they're not. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh. I mean. Wait, am I waiting for Detective Carnby before I do? Can I save? Oh, 
What oh, do you it's do? Grace, not the tree. Preparing for the ceremony. I didn't even see her. This time she will come. I'm sure of it. Who's coming, Grace? The black goat of the woods. The mother of a thousand young. I hope you find what you're looking for, Grace. Whatever it is that you need. That's a terrible thing to say. Okay. Is there anybody back here? Anything back here? I thought I was gonna click on that tree. I was like, uh oh. I guess I'm ready. For whatever's to come. <clears throat> Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. My screen keeps flickering. Oh my god, close your eyes. <laughs> well, there are praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever there, 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 ever Okay, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. I don't want Grace to die, I take it back. She's just a child. She's like, stop, let me die, oh my god. Carn yeah! Molotov? Get out, Emily! We're leaving! No! There has to be a death of us! Oh my god, Grace. Still just... Oh! <laughs> He's like, oopsie. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it's... Oh, oh god. No! Ruth! No! She's fine, she's fine, she's fine. Come with me. Tree's just gone? Oh my god. I have god. to stop that thing. It's gonna kill everything in its way. Oh my god. Oh, sorry guys. I just need to get the bullets. My bad guys. Sorry. So, I'm so disrespectfully like. Oh. My. <laughs> Ruth! <laughs> no. no. Get yourself together, Emily. You have to. Oh, I like how she literally was. Like, I loved Ruth the most out of all of them. I don't know why she did, but she did, and I respect that. Um, I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. Can I, hey, but can I get into the- okay. No save for me. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't think I can go any further. Yeah, hi. Well, but I was trying to go the way Grace went. Pick out that window, like we saw. Well, 
It is gonna kill everybody because I'm stuck lost. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay. Seems like everybody's fucking dead. Like, aggressively badly dead. And there's no good dead, but like, that was... <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna go get to go back to that save, guys. I just have a feeling I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get to go back to that save. I think we have a bite on our hands. Holy shit, it's loud. Oh no, I just drank. It's fine, right? <sighs> I see eyeballs. Not gonna like that. Uh, can you stop moving, please?
fire. I did not do it. got it that was clean <laughs> it was like fucking 20 minutes of pain and struggle why did the monsters disappear the first time emily are you all right and then not the second i don't understand anything that just happened <laughs> what was that me the whole gang was a cult dedicated to something called the black goat of the woods i've been trying to gather as much information as i could it was only after you started talking about monsters that I thought maybe there was some truth to all the nonsense I was finding. Where's Jeremy? Uncle, are you all right? Define all right. Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Don't say that. You made it out. Be happy, okay? Fucking Grace. I'm covering her good. <laughs> hey, kid. You doing all right? It wasn't what I expected, but you can't always get what you want. <laughs> I don't even know what to feel about Grace. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. Can I come? Don't leave her. You have to take her to Hell's Kitchen. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, hey, I could probably sneak back in there and get that safe real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I I I don't even know what to think about. <laughs> I don't even know what to think. 
Yeah, I was like, okay, well, maybe like they're just like misunderstood and it's actually the doctor that was bad, but I guess they all kind of were bad. But then the doctor was like, hey, maybe we shouldn't do this. And they're like, nah, we should do this. And then they were gonna kill a child. And then we were like, okay, we, we gotta step in. We can't let them kill a child. Even if that child is Grace who literally stabbed me. That Did that ever come back in? She fucking stabbed me in the booty cheeks with a dirty ass needle. <laughs> and that never came back into play unless I just missed it. I, I love that Jeremy had to get stabbed in the eyeball, but then the dark man was in us. And then she's like, okay, fine, that's fine. Like, I'm taking you out with me. And then just go, just having a little sleepy, just a little sleepy. And she was cured from that and completely fine. Maybe we should have put Jeremy to sleep for a little bit. <laughs> Maybe he would have been fine. <laughs> that's truly it. There's nothing else. What do you mean continue? No. No, it's just the tree fight again. <laughs> it's just the tree fight again. I Like I said, I, I do I have any idea what is going on? No, I have absolutely no clue. Maybe, you know what? Maybe the answer was truly in the safe all along. It, uh, it might just be a me problem. It might be a me problem and it all made complete sense and I just was not picking up what this game was putting down. Like, I guess I kept thinking it was going to be, like, maybe more intricate than possibly, but no, it was quite straightforward. Go to a mansion. Mansion seems evil. Mansion is evil. They're part of a cult. Damn it. We should have known. Uh, Dark Man? Darkman was a different entity than, like, the, like, fertility god that they were trying t t to bring there at the end. Which I guess makes tree uh, sense, because I, I guess it was a tree, right? Um, and they were gonna sacrifice Grace to the tree for the fertility god. And Grace was, like, super on board with that. I don't know why. I don't know why she stabbed me. I don't know why she fucking punched me in the face and called me a bad little girl and ran out of the room. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> I, I guess, like, Grace is evil, TM, or she's, uh, possessed, I suppose. I don't, like, that's the part where I'm like, wait a minute, okay, I get, uh, go to mansion. Is Colt, Colt bad? Colt tried to summon thing, defeat the thing. All's in a day, day's work, but it, it's not so cut and dry because we fucking lobotomized our uncle. <laughs> and the little girl who fucking stabbed me with a rusty ass needle. We didn't like fix her. I don't even know if she's able to be fixed. Yeah, was she just like brainwashed? Was she possessed? Was she not actually a little girl? Was she some sort of other entity? Like, I don't know. Cause like that, I like, that's where I was like, wait, okay. So like, they think all of these people are broken and they definitely do need like therapy and help in that way. But are they evil though? And then they just were evil. <laughs> Actually, they just were. Um, same with like Ruth. Like you start to think like, oh, like she's a sex addict. But is she though? Or is it just like the time where they're just like pointing a finger at a woman who knows what she wants and is actually out there having sex with people you know consensually in the way that she enjoys and they're just like oh sex addict you need to go here like i i, I don't know i don't know i'm not entirely sure i thought it was gonna be like oh okay we need to think about this like this place isn't what it seems, but it actually was exactly how it seems. And I just don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> and apparently playing the opposite part doesn't give you anything extra to that. Though, I'm sorry, is David Harbour gonna fucking stab my uncle in the eye? Is Emily gonna be cool with that? <laughs> She's just gonna be like, you know, it needed to be done. <laughs> Thanks for lobotomizing my uncle. I appreciate you doing that. Oh, also, I thought you were crazy about the monsters thing, but actually you weren't crazy. Why is it happening to you? Even though it was like a, you know, a Hartwood family thing. Why is everything happening to you? I don't know. Play to find out. Yeah, so I might revisit this if I find out there's like a good chunk extra. 
Because I just, I, I'm left feeling just scratching my head. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. See you guys next year's video.